Okay, I've got a really hard question. This is question 22 from the IGCSE in June 2012 Maths A paper from Edexcel syllabus. Now, what do we have here? So we're given two solid spheres, as you can see here, each of radius r centimeters fit exactly inside a hollow cylinder. Okay, so this is hollow. The radius of the cylinder is r centimeters, and the height of the cylinder is equal to 4 r centimeters. It makes sense because if you see the radius, we've got one radius here. Uh, let me just make a dotted line. Another radius here, so that's 2r, so r plus r is 2r. And we also got another one here, making it 2r, so a total 4r. The volume of the space inside the cylinder not occupied by the spheres is given by 125 over 6 pi. So the area, so we can just label it here. Area of all of this is 125 over 6 pi centimeter. Uh, the volume is 125 over 6 pi centimeter cube. Okay, so calculate the radius. Now, what I would do here personally is that I would um, accumulate everything. I would accumulate that the, the total volume of everything, so the total volume of, of this sphere plus the, the two spheres plus the cylinder, empty cylinder should equal the volume of the cylinder itself as if it was covered. Okay, so if we write in words, I'm going to write this as a text because it might be easier to present. Hold on, let me just... Okay, so I'm going to put a text here. So I would say the volume, so the volumes of um, both spheres plus the empty space will equal the volume of the cylinder, which is true. That would make um, the total volume. So this is our equation to work with. If we can solve this equation, we can find the value of R. That's as simple as that. So what does this mean? So the volume of both spheres, so we need to know the volume of the sphere firstly is um, 4 over 3 pi r cubed. This is given in the in your formula sheet if you're doing IGCC or GCC syllabus. So because you have two spheres, we can just say two lots of these. So we can say two lots of 4 thirds pi r cubed plus, and then the empty space, which we already know, is 125 over 6 pi. And this, of course, must equal the total volume of the sphere. And um, the volume of a cylinder, firstly, is actually um, easy. If you look back in your formula sheet, you have the volume of a prism. The volume prism tells us that the area of the cross-section, which is a circle, times its height will give you the volume. So this means the area of this cross-section is pi r squared, times the height, which is 4 pi, times 4 pi. Uh, 4r, sorry. The height is 4r. And that's it. Now we, now we have our equation to solve. So let's just, let's just go ahead and solve this. So tidying this up, what do we have? So on the left-hand side, we're going to have 8 over 3 pi r cubed plus 125 over 6 pi. This must equal on the right side 4 pi r cubed. Remember, the r squared r become r cubed. And the pi and the 4 just, just stay there. Now, notice how we can, they all have pi's in common, so that means we can cancel out the pi's. So let me just go ahead and cancel them out. So bang, 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 so the, oh, the pi's are gone. Now we can, we can um, solve in terms of r cubed. So let me get a fresh page for this here. So we're going to have um, the new equation, 8 over 3 r cubed plus, let me see again, uh, 125 over 6. must equal pi uh, 4r cubed. That's it. So what I could do is I could, I could subtract 8 over 3r cubed across. So we're going to have 125 over 6 equals a 4 take away um, 8 over 3. I can't do this. It would give us 4, four thirds pi, 4 thirds r cubed. Divide 4 thirds, we're going to have 125 over 6. 6 divided by 4 over 3, which equals r cubed. And therefore, the total radius would just be the cube root of this. So you can say r equals the cube root of 125 over 6 over 4 thirds. And this should give us 2.5. Wow, easy. The radius is 2.5, guys. Voila. I, and I hope...